And welcome to another war game, Red Dragon. So here we are in health well, Our game uh, completely messed up the intro, so let's just get started. Right, so basically, <coughs> me and the other members of the Rat Pack at Shun here decided let's go and fight some randomness. I see what they do. If you are on this and you actually see this video, you know, you'd be very happy. So, we have a bit of um, a situation. You see, our plan was to smash through the enemy everywhere. Like Gulf, India. You can see I'm sort of like in both places, but I decided to go to India more. So, yeah. So, you can see that our forces, well, mine, anyway are quite small in comparison. I do have these marines here and they are and they do move out to be honest. But if you see on the enemy side they have a lot more going for them. We are up against Korean mech guns. North Korean mech guns. One slot there. That's, that's pretty self explanatory. I mean like you see the other probably should get back to the battle. It's a bunch of sea harriers, thankfully Saint brought me the sea harriers and he just does an amazing job with them. I bring in, oh wait, that's not my aircraft. Hmm. Strange. So my forces are down here, we're setting up shot. You know, I have my longbow, going out, my Chinook will scout a force, and I got starship and aircraft down on the Charmaine. Mr. Pepsi, on the other hand, has his diggers set up around the place, and I'm scouting ahead, like landing my Chinook here. So this place becomes quite intense. All along the front, it was pretty quiet for this game. So my allies eventually the word to garrison this area, so I do, you know? On the sea, we have the Sarge just setting up patrol boats. Now, Alpha becomes one hell of a fight, and you'll see why why it becomes uh then there's this crap he digs in here i mean like he could have pushed all the way down here and actually overrun me but no he chooses to dig in so we got some sea harriers from the saint providing air cover and you see sarge is just running over the hill with some united states marines it would have worked if the enemy did not predict it. In the meantime, we have Saint trying to cross. This is where it kicks off. I mean, like, I see these helicopters about, and I'm like, okay, my tuna, my longbow can take them. Well, my longbow cannot take on a plane. So quite amazing, the plane misses. Okay, I'm high tailing it out. He misses for a second time. Now, will he miss for a third time? That's the question. No. He did miss a third time. So over here... I know. Sarge, Sergeant Teddy's just getting overrun by, by these vehicles. Really can't blame him. At this point, they completely dominate this area. And I'm here. Just set. Sit. Meanwhile, here it's pretty interesting. Me, Mr. Pepsi, we're just waiting. You know, we don't know if they're going to have because we were worried about this. Look at that. Come on. You could have moved it down here. He's like, nope, I'm staying. Staying on the defensive. So eventually he does move these guys over here. Sadly enough, these guys are nowhere near as good as Delta Force. Back in Alpha, it's really becoming a flame war. Most people who play this game knows this. Oh yeah, no.
cars in this area. So, in reality, I thought this area is covered. Very comfortable. It wasn't that bad. Over here, it's quite quiet because I'm building up the forces to attack. As you can clearly see, though, just the amount of men they have just kicking back, thinking, like, what is this guy doing? He could have overrun those in my sector. I mean, like, look at that. My force in comparison to his. Sergeant Teddy does move up some more men, and I got my squad split up. These guys can do a fair job, so I'm trying to do a So finally, me and Pepsi move in with about 30 odd guys. Yeah. Thankfully, Pepsi's SRS are nearby. Vicious. I mean, like, look at those tanks. Look at that. Yes, they do have less, well, more AP power. hard at the beginning of the game to counter bombing guys, but in mid-game, there's no excuse. Unless the enemy's constantly howling at you. So, Mr. Pepsi, moving up this SR, and me thinking, oh, Pepsi can move up these men, fine. So can I. I was horribly mistaken. The grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. Yeah, so I do order more reinforcements around. I mean, like, we do reinforce Mr. Pepsi constantly. More men than I did in this area, fair enough. But I do keep some LATVs here, just to watch over the area. Now, here's the weird thing. They could have attacked around the sides, and yes, they would have met quite stubborn resistance. But most people leave this road unguarded, from my experience. So eventually I give the word that they have AA here. Which was I do? Jagger. And you see Sea Harry and Sally, but they're not gonna go and deal with it. Nor are the Euro fighters. So with a mass amount of fighters that's going on and a artillery support that we have nothing. terrifying about them that I find is their close combat weapon. The AKS 74U. You can see that rate of fire. Now, look at my Marines. Yeah. That ain't pretty. Now let's look at the accuracy. The accuracy is horrible. But as you can see, they can shoot more. They can shoot Far more than my Marines. They are very good at close combat. So I'm going to play with the seals, and I'm just generally kind of solid. Mr. Pepsi is keeping his tutorials here because they fail. So we do eventually get attacked. Actually, these helicopters do notice it. And we send the appropriate response. In the form of Sea Harry. Harry. I think he does get direct hit through here. Oh, now he can. So Saracens are trying to. Over here, I attempt to run into this forest thing. Thank you. 
while I bring up more reinforcements. These are riflemen. see the rate they have they just have more materials and men at us look at this look at this this is packed this air pilot just got bombs and that silence silence rifle the SBF just silence rifles and you can just see that these men I do move in these. These are fucking. They're lightly armored and they only need an AP. and Hotep. Like they do form a tank line up there and you couldn't get past it. Well, not with the resources side. So I eventually just sit in, settle into this waiting game in Alpha. Because you can see both sides are building up. Is that... Do they have artillery? Oh, Saint had it. But you can see the number of men they just had sitting. I mean, like, could you imagine that? All that coming down on you? I mean, like, we could only see, like, that and we were like oh they got nothing and they were like oh they got nothing <laughs> you know i mean like could you imagine that just running down on you I mean, like i wouldn't be able to hold golf i mean i do not doubt you that would be I mean, like he would have held us out nor sergeant so yeah it would mostly be me that caused our defeat so we do eventually just take the town uh, brute force and one of them leaves so this gives them more resources more manpower and we still don't see it so now I shift my attention over to Alpha to back up this massive Saracen attack as you can see I do have some dealt with this just around and more reinforcements arriving just after the Alpha I do have these guys on bridge detail Got these TMs across the field. Oh, pretty damn powerful. They do take out one, I believe. So that one does take out one. Yeah. It's down. And I do see more of these guys. No, they are not amphibious. These things, on the other hand. Marines, airborne. Yeah, they're pretty handy. So we eventually. Well, this is funny because I was like, okay, they have nothing in the woods, do they? Holy crap! GG. 
So, eventually in golf, it becomes sort of like a stack. Nobody can really cross that river because you want to walk in the back when you can. We're going to need more water. Over here. With my assault on this flank, there's a tension shift away, allowing a new engineer to start to pity the flank. And backing up my rapid substantial against the transport. And all the while, the clever is born like a The SBR. fast you can shoot, you can't shoot fast enough. And so, it does eventually get back from behind himself, so, and I have a few micromanagement errors, but you can see the amount of, uh, this, this, I don't know why I Do eventually just launch this one last swoop against the entire set. And eventually we do withdraw every set as we can. But you know so this point. My marine's just providing the block for Once this goes up on YouTube, now, all the people are laugh, laugh, laughing for the best. Look at this. What are they doing with half this stuff? So I do eventually decide to cross the river with some of the trees that we're now dealing with. Right on the river. They do provide me some cover from the north of the US Marines there. They already do have enough. Why do they keep I mean, I know one of them left, but that's it. So my US Marines are going to go back here, just try and kill as many as I can. I should be bringing up reinforcements for this area. Nah, there's my anti aircraft. So. Yep, there's my guy. You see all those on you. On tracks. In reality. Yeah. Our enemy wasn't... I don't know. We just never seen this many of them. You know? Oh wait, that's not our crew. That's our crew. See, my US Marines... Once I do get a decent amount of points. I'm not the lowest enemy. US Marines do run out of ammunition in their ball. Open fire. Oh, that is Thankfully, Sergeant Teddy has a moment. We do start securing this river. I do move over to this river to provide some.
was trying to micromanage it to just kill that one. Yeah. You got some Could have moved them across, but come on, that's too many men, and we won. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me as I done what they crap. Twenty-one percent of kills in my team. Crazy. See you next time, as I hopefully do another recording. <laughs>